Hi Floppy Catters, today we're doing the final product review video for Viva Raw's Pure line of cat food. I got lamb, chicken, turkey, and rabbit to try. Each of their packs is two pounds. It is not a complete meal, so you need a completer, and they recommend All Nutrin. All Nutrin makes several variations of their supplement. This is the meat and bone, because this is literally lamb, meat, liver, heart, kidney, and beef bone. And you can buy it so that it's individually packaged. And I went ahead and did that because this is my first time doing this, but you can also just buy it like in a more bulky powder form. But one of these packets should be mixed with one pound of meat. And since this is a two pound thing of meat, we'll do two packets. Beaver Raw recommends when feeding it to let it thaw in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So that's what this one has been doing. So you can cut these things open or there's a little tear strip on the side here. All Nutrin suggests one fourth of a cup of water for every pound of, in every one packet of All Nutrin. So this is a half a cup of water. And a friend of mine suggested doing it this way. I told her, I was like, oh, well, I would have just sprinkled the powder on top of the meat. I wouldn't have thought to like dissolve it in the water. So I am thankful to have this tip because otherwise I don't think that the, the all nutrient are like vitamins and minerals. I don't think that they would have dispersed evenly in the two pounds of meat had I not known this tr trick, if I had done it the way my brain was thinking to do it. We're gonna mix that in so it's kind of like dissolved. Kind of, It's hard because this bowl is yellow, but it's literally like an egg, egg yolk color. And then I just go in there with a fork. This is still pretty frozen. I'll mix it on through. Both of my cats are sleeping right now. Or one is cleaning. Boo, are you in the middle of, yes. Paint me like one of your French girls. Wanna smell? Whoa. Yummy woo. Lamb. Tank, smell. Whoa, what's that one? Is it something new? We haven't had lamb in a long, long time. My cats are 14, if you don't, or not 14, almost 14. They'll be 14 in like three and a half months. And they haven't had lamb since they were on wet food. And they haven't been on wet food for almost a year. So it will be interesting to see what they think. They just ate also. I am preparing my dinner and wanted to just go ahead and get this done while I was preparing mine. So I will feed this to them when they're hungry. Once it's mixed, I break it into two pounds. So I do a pound in the freezer. I'm gonna do a little over a pound there. And then this one is going to be the one that I keep in the, the refrigerator. Well, with everything added to it, I guess it ended up being closer to more than two pounds. This is interesting on this one. I haven't seen actual bone in anything that I've fed since I've been giving raw because it's also grounded up, but this one is pretty chunky. All right, so there it is. All ready to go, freezer and refrigerator ready. Okay, so this is the Viva Raw lamb. I'm trying to stay away from them because they get suspicious when I come close to them when they're eating. Because normally, you know, you put the bowl down and you walk away. But when I'm doing food reviews or a bowl review or a mat review, then I'm up in their face. And so they're weird about it and, and it's weird, but I'm glad they're eating lamb. Okay, so Charlie always leaves his food and comes back to it. And to eat, they like to eat off of each other's bowls. That happens all the time. That is sardine um, and the other bowl. I'm gonna dethaw two today, or I've dethawed two rather, and I'm gonna add the all nutrient to these guys and then put them all in the freezer. Well, I'm gonna save some for the refrigerator. But this is a, another option as I, you know, I'm going through this review, I'm thinking, well, I guess when all of these arrive, technically you could, you know, spend 30, 45 minutes defrosting all of them, mixing them with all nutrient and then freezing them again so that you really only did this every time a shipment came. My problem with that is that I don't have enough containers to 
put everything in in order to do that. So I have to do it like in phases. But today we're gonna do turkey and rabbit. One nice thing about these packets is there's like a little pull tab here. It makes it really easy to just pull it apart and dump it into your bowl. And then start mixing. This is our second batch of rabbit. So they already went through the first two pounds. And overall, they ate it really well. There were a couple times where they didn't eat terribly well, but I don't always blame that on the food. As you can hear in my voice, I'm struggling with allergies right now. And my cats have struggled a little bit too. But they, they're on like a homeopathic allergy medicine, medicine, but our pollen's been so high that I think when kitties can't smell their food very well, they're not as interested in eating. I'm gonna put this down and show you guys. So this is our the second batch of rabbit, but the first batch of rabbit went well enough that I would totally reorder it and try it again on the kitties. This is how I'm distinguishing which ones they are. I just use a bit of painter's tape and a Sharpie to know which meat because they, when they're frozen, they all start looking the same. So I think it's important to distinguish in between once you've had them mixed up and they're ready to go. This is how these two turned out. So this is the rabbit, this is the turkey, and you can see the rabbit is a little more pink, a little less red than the turkey. And as I guessed, he went for it once the topper was put on. I don't know which one he's going for. I don't know if I put turkey over there. So one bowl is turkey, one bowl is rabbit. I'm not sure which one is which. <clears throat> well, I got all the toppers off of that one, so I'm gonna go get the toppers off of this one. Are you gonna eat? We're thinking about it. Tiggy ate a big meal before I started prepping this. Um, Trig is my good eater, he will eat um, any of the fetching foods that I have, like the weird ones, like the guinea hen and partridge and all that kind of stuff. And I was trying to finish up some of those before I made these and mixed these ones up. And he ate those, that's probably why he's not eating. He's probably not that hungry. This is where we are several, several minutes later. I don't know which one Charlie went for. I'm guessing the rabbit, but I'm not totally sure. Trig obviously has not decided to partake but I will report at the end of this video, like, you know, how each protein was received or, you know, eaten or whatever. All right, guys, that wraps it up for our review video for Viva Raw. Wanted to show you that I've already reordered. I reordered the chicken and the rabbit. So I got rabbit and chicken for them. And then I also got the duck because well, Trig's not supposed to have duck because of his pancreas issues, but it might be okay. So I, I just ordered one of the duck and then I ordered a lot of the chicken and a lot of the rabbit, which is perfect timing. Because, you know, we're working with Pam, a perfectly holistic, and she just asked me to hold psyllium husk for five days for Charlie. And there is psyllium husk in all fetching foods. So this is great because I can feed the Viva in the meantime. Now this is a turkey from Viva. They didn't end up really liking it. You know, they'd kind of eat a couple bites, but it wasn't really worth it. And then I also have lamb leftover that's frozen. So I will give this to my mom or my sister and they'll feed it to their dogs. Um, because it's a, you know, just meat, bone and organ, they're, it can be fed to dogs. And, but it's not a complete meal to feed to dogs. You can buy the, you can buy the pure Viva raw packages for dogs or cats. And then you'll have to add, you know, the right nutrients for each one. So I've added all nutrient to it upstairs. So tonight we're dining with chicken and rabbit that's ready to go. That's been all mixed up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you feed Viva Raw or a raw diet in general, tell me about it in the comments below. We'll see you next time. One more thing before I go. Just because my cats like chicken and rabbit doesn't necessarily mean that your cats will. Your cats might like lamb or turkey or they might like duck. So you just kind of have to experiment and that's a nice thing that, you know, if you have a friend or a family member that also has a dog or, you know, has cats that are fed raw, they might go for it. 
so it doesn't feel like it's completely wasteful. And they also have their guarantee on their website if for some reason your cat doesn't go for it. So for example, if you're looking to switch to raw and your cat has liked chicken canned food, they might go for chicken, you know, raw food, or they might go for duck, or they might go for turkey if they've liked that. However, sometimes, you know, the taste is gonna be a lot different because this is fresh, frozen, raw, compared to like a processed chicken that has been cooked down. So just keep all that in mind, be open-minded, work with Viva Raw, they'll help you, give you some tips and tricks, and you'll be on your way.